Okay, Mr. Gilly guys here, playing some KSP, and a few new episodes on this. And um, today I am gonna do a few part series on how to build a stock rocket that is a, a space plane that can get you to Minmus and back. Now. You want to just start off with this capsule, I can't remember the name of it. And um, first of all, we'll hook our parachutes on. Now, I know I've got all these other mods here, but um, I'm only going to be using stock parts, so don't worry. Okay, first of all, we want to put a... Oh, come on. Great. Try that again. Grab stuff. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna put the decoupler on first. Then. Mark 16 parachute. And if I turn snapped angles on. Here. Then of course we need to get down from our craft, so what you want to do is is put that flat so there. Flip it. Try that again. Uh, Put it out on an angle, just like that. Okay. Now you put your advanced SAS module there. And here's the thing that I always do. Where am I? There you go. Is our way to get okay so here's what the tanks are we need four of them if you can count okay so this first part here is for escaping Kerbin trajectory and getting to Minmus this is for also getting to Minmus um, polishing up our orbit there and starting to deorbit. Um, after the deorbit, we go into the landing stage and that's there. And then that these two are part to get back home. But that tank there plays a crucial part because that's like deorbiting minimus, you know, for your retrograde burn. Um, you know, landing and then just starting to take off as well. So that's why we need four. Then at the bottom of all that, you need an aerospace bike. They work best. I've tried using all these other engines and the aerospace bike just fits the middle best. Now here's a little hint. With the aerospace bike, it's good to just get there and then put some strut connectors because during the um, landing stage this can break off even though it has an impact tolerance of 22 20 sorry it still pops off every now and again which kind of gets really annoying but um Hang on a okay, I'm back. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so, what do you want to do from here? You want to go to your command and control, get a standard camera, 
just on two by symmetry and put it so that bit is like just at the top of the decoupler. Then we want to go to a structural and aerodynamic, get a delta wing, put that wherever you think that's going to work best. And did I use a catalog? Yes. And that's for our steering. So that's all basically set up. If you want to, it's a good idea too. It comes in really handy. Um, you get your RCS unit, and you just need one tank, like that. And you put RCS port liners. You put about five on here five on here and about two in the middle and none anywhere else you can put the um, nozzles these ones here the thrust of blocks ooh that ain't good okay you can put them on there either side of the wing but I kinda just don't really like the idea of it so I'm going to leave that there and where's my more liners? I'm, I may as well just do this just to show you so that's one and you know put an even amount of space between them and maybe put one there and then you want to spread these five over the just the one fuel tank here and then just one here and one there so simple enough and I'm just going to put two here for sideways momentum because I don't have any on the wings now what you want to do getting a bit trickier here and then your 4 by symmetry actually almost forgot almost you need gear bays and the way I like to do this is line that up so that line there is in line with the top of the gear And you can also get to minimus without leaving any debris at all, which is actually quite handy. And then you don't want the gimbling range, you just want the one the LVT30, not the 45. Then D D D D coupler. And these take a bit of fiddling around, I'll tell you that, to be honest. They can get pretty annoying. Because the fuel tanks get in the way of each other. Because they overhang just a little bit. Yeah. That's what I don't like. Mm -hmm. 
that's two left. Oh, success. Oh, this 4 by symmetry makes everything so easy. Now you just want 3 on this one. You can lift 4, but things tend to go a little bit slower. You should end up with like a square looking thing of just fuel tanks. And yet again, the LVT 30. Start with the middle, actually. Now, if you've done this right, you shouldn't have to play with any of this stuff here. So, that's the simple and easy thing about it, which I quite like. But now. What we have to do is use these strut connectors. So you want to taper these to the a uh, SAS module and the top tanks to each other, the bottom tanks to each other, and then halfway through it, connect that to the middle. That's how they're done. Now these bits, you, if you want to be safe, you can connect them to that, but I'm lazy, so there. Oops. No, oh, that's just trying. There and there. Just to be safe, in the middle, I'm going to connect these. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, my mouse has been really fun. Go away. And that should just about do you. Now, this thing does not need a launch stability enhancer. It does not need one. If you want one, use it by all means, but it does not need one. It is stable as. Oh, actually, that's one thing I forgot as well. Da -da. There we go. Da -da. Okay, connect from the top there. And that should be it. And we should name this the Rock Shuttle. I think this is Mark Five Shuttle Rock. Damn it. So, as you can see, I've been through a lot of testing with these. So, com all different rockets here, four completely different rockets. This one is as well, so that's the fifth. Thor's there, also them as well, the Minmus Boy Toy. I've landed two of them on Minmus, right next to each other, with the help of a mechanical jet. He played a big part in it. Okay. okay.